Hello, my name's Danny from CG Dreams. And today we're going to be looking at the scale differences between Cinema 4D and ZBrush. This also applies to other applications as well, as I've also tried this with Cinema 4D and Modo. For this test, what I've done is I've created this box here, which is exactly one metre tall. The reason why I've made it one metre tall is because I know that ZBrush works within the scale of metres. This being the case, when we bring this into ZBrush, we should find that things are very compatible between this program's export scale and ZBrush. So this is the imported model and I exported this as metres as the scale. What we find is, is the transpose tool should be set to one unit scale and the calibration should also be set to one by default. This is normally the way it is set by default. And this will give us our meters. So it should be one scale by that. If we were to calibrate this properly, we were to go to the top, to the bottom of there, go to the preferences, and you can now see that the scale and the calibration is set automatically to one. And this is because the box is exactly one meter. So what this does is it, it tells us basically that ZBrush is working with the unit of one unit equals one meter tall. So what happens if we start to export our model anything smaller than one meter? Let's initialize ZBrush. And I'm going to import a model which was exported as seven uh, centimeters. So I'm going to import and okay. So this was exported from Cinema 4D as centimeters. Now because ZBrush works in the scale of meters, what it's done is it's automatically scaled up the model on import to 100 times larger. We measure from the bottom of there to the top. You will now see that this is exactly 100 units. But you'll also notice on the export settings that it's adjusted this scale for export. So it will export it the correct scale back down again. And this is what ZBrush does. The further away that you import or export a model from your application away from one meter, the more it's going to scale it up when it gets into ZBrush. To show you this, I'm now going to import an exported model that was exported as millimeters. If this calculation is right, then this millimeters should then turn to 1000 units. We will again initialize, import, and this time this was exported from Cinema 4D at the scale of millimeters. Now when we use the transpose tool, you'll notice that it's now 1000 units tall. Even though this, calibration, this calibrated tool is calibrated to one meter. So that's right, this cube is actually scaled up to 1000 meters. When we bring in a centimeter exported model, it will scale it up 100 times bigger, 100 meters. And if we import a model which was exported from our external application as meters, then it will scale it exactly as it was, one meter to one meter. Just to verify this, initialize again. This time I'm going to bring in the model that was exported as one meter in the meet all the scale as meters. Now 
Now if I was to use the transpose tool, it should just measure one unit. And if you look at the top there, you can see that exactly that is one unit. Give and take my movement on the transpose tool, but that is one unit. So whenever you want to keep the scale 100% the same between ZBrush and your external application, always export as meters. It will guarantee that it will bring it in the same scale as it originally was from your external application and ZBrush will not do any rescaling. The same applies if you're using GoZ. GoZ won't give you no options as to the scale. It will automatically export your model as meters as its scale and bring it into ZBrush as meters into scale. Even if your model is three centimeters tall, it makes no difference. It's just the scale difference between the way Modo wants to see things, Cinema 4D sees things, and ZBrush sees things. And this works the same. So what's all this about? Does it really matter? Well, it does matter a great deal when you're creating 32-bit displacement maps. I've docked to the side here the multi-map exporter. If you import your model as centimeters, it will scale your model up by 100 times. In which particular case, you can leave this scale for the 32-bit displacement map at one. One meaning 100 times. Okay. If you were to bring your model in as millimeters, you would have to change this from one to 1000. This is because if you bring in a model that was exported as millimeters, ZBrush will scale it up by 1000 times. Hence why you have to put 1000 in the scale. If you was to export on the basis of meters, in which ZBrush works with meters, then that's the 100% scale between the two. It's perfectly, exactly the same, a 1-1 one, one scale. In which case, you can put the scale as 100. So the scale as 100 is basically meaning the scale hasn't changed between your external application and ZBrush. This only applies if you export your model in meters. You export your model in centimeters, it will scale it up by 100 times. Therefore, you have to put the scale down to one. If your model is imported as millimeters, it will scale it up by 1000 times. Hence, you need the scale of 1000 for your 32-bit displacement map. If you're using GoZ, GoZ will automatically assume the scale of meters, in which case you would set your scale as 100. And the scale of 100 would also always work when you're using GoZ. So if your model is sent from your external application into ZBrush using GoZ, you can always use a scale of 100.